The journal Science has received and reviewed the summary of the report from last night of the Seoul National University Investigating Committee that has been looking into two papers published by Dr. Huang and his colleagues in South Korea uh, in science in 2000 and 2004 and 2005. The findings involve serious research misconduct, finding that both papers contained fraudulent data and fraudulent conclusions. The authors of the 2005 paper had already agreed universally uh, to a retraction. Since the 2004 paper is also implicated in these findings, we have decided to retract it editorially as well. We've been providing on Science's website a running chronology of these events since the problem was first identified, along with editorial updates in an effort to provide the scientific community with information about the status of the research and of our efforts to support investigations of its conduct at Seoul National University and at the University of Pittsburgh. We are now doing a systematic review of the editorial history of both papers and our procedures for evaluating them in order to search for ways in which we might improve those procedures. I've pointed out in the past that even unusually rigorous peer review of the kind used in this particular uh, set of papers may fail to detect cases of well-constructed fraud. To support our own effort to analyze our procedures, we're calling on outside experts, including members of our board of reviewing editors and our eight-member senior editorial board. They and we will be considering options for providing additional procedural safeguards. These might include, for example, requiring all authors to detail their specific contributions to the project, along with concurrence with respect to uh, the results and uh, expressions of their confidence in all the work. We are implementing various improved methods for detecting image alteration, although it appears that those would have been unlikely to detect the problems that arose in this particular case. Fraudulent research is a particularly disturbing event because it threatens an enterprise that's built on trust. Fortunately, such cases are rare, but they damage all of us. Fraud is unlikely to be eliminated completely through the process of scientific publishing, and truth in science ultimately depends upon confirmation. But at science, we're determined to do everything in our power to evaluate our own procedures for detecting research misconduct, and we will communicate the results of that effort to the scientific community when it is complete. 